Effect of Enzyme Concentration on Rate of Reaction by Vanessa Briseño, Alyssa Blades, Augustine Rios, and Bonnie Lynn. Catalase is a catalytic protein which speeds up a reaction without being consumed. In order for our body to function and the liver to go through the processes effectively, enzymes such as catalase are needed to lower the activation energy so the rate of reaction increases. The catalase enzyme specifically binds to the substrate hydrogen peroxide and breaks it into water and oxygen. In this lab, the rate of reaction would be measured by the formation of bubbles, oxygen, as different concentrations of catalase are mixed with hydrogen peroxide. Research question. Is there a relationship between catalase concentration and the rate of reaction? If enzyme concentration is increased, then the rate of reaction will also increase. If enzyme concentration is decreased, then the rate of reaction will also decrease. Materials for this lab include mortar and pestle, graduated cylinder, distilled water, test tubes, chicken liver, transfer pipettes, hydrogen peroxide, razor blade, and cutting board. Step 1. Properly wash and rinse test tubes, graduated cylinders, and mortar and pestle with soap, tap water, and distilled water. Step 2. Calculate mass of chicken liver needed for 1%, 5%, 15%, and 20% mass of all in concentrations. Step 3. Measure 0.15 grams of chicken liver for the 1% solution using electronic balance of a weigh bone. Step 4. Grind chicken liver until little to no clumps are visible. Step 5. Measure 15 mils of distilled water using graduated cylinder and transfer to mortar and pestle containing the chicken liver. Step 6. Using sterile transfer pipette, transfer 1 mil hydrogen peroxide to each test tube. Step 7. Transfer 5 mils of catalase concentration mixture to a different test tube. Step 8. Obtain ruler and line parallel with side of test tube. Step 9. Start timer as enzyme concentration is being poured into the 1 mil hydrogen peroxide. Step 10. Record each head of bubble formation at 2 second intervals. Step 11. Repeat steps 3 to 10 for 5%, 15%, and 20%. Make sure to conduct at least 3 trials for each enzyme concentration. Also, perform a control by adding 5 ml of distilled water to 1 ml of hydrogen peroxide. No bubbles should form. Displayed in Table 1, the control did not yield any bubble formation. Table 2 shows the bubble formation for the 1% enzyme concentration to be under 50 mm in height. Table 3 shows the bubble formation for the 5% enzyme concentration to be an average of above 50 mm in height. Table 4 shows the bubble formation for the 15% enzyme concentration to be above 70 mm in height. Lastly, Table 5 shows the bubble formation for 20% enzyme concentration to be an average of about 70 mm in height. Please note that the temperature of each trial was recorded as control for temperature, and distilled water was used to control for pH. Graphs were also constructed for each percent enzyme concentration to calculate the rate at which reaction occurred, also known as rise over run. In addition, an increase in rate of reaction can be seen overall as enzyme concentration increased. The purpose of this lab was to determine the relationship between enzyme concentration and the rate of reaction. As seen in the videos for the different enzyme concentrations, the amount of bubbles formed in 5 seconds increased as enzyme concentration increased. This supports the hypothesis, which suggested that the relationship between enzyme concentration and the rate of reaction is directly proportional. The graph displaying the average rate of reaction shows this relationship. Also, Table 6 shows the high standard deviation which increased, with exception to 5%, liver concentration solution. This indicates the inconsistency in the methods of conducting this lab. Weaknesses in the experiment included human error in reading the volume of liquid in the graduated cylinder as well as the method of recording the rate of reaction. This can be improved by using a temperature probe or gas pressure sensor. Another weakness included inaccuracy due to the use of transfer pipettes. This can be improved by using a micropipette instead. Inconsistency also played a role in the experiment. The lab should be performed on the same day, thus ensuring the use of the same chicken liver. A wider range of intervals should be used to produce more significant results. Further experiments include using a temperature probe or gas pressure sensor to increase the accuracy of the results.